Hey everyone and welcome to a new tutorial for FPS Engine. Today I'll show you how you can add new weapons in FPS Engine using the Weapon Creation Assistant, which was included in the FPS Engine 1.3 update. Adding weapons in FPS Engine has always been easy, but the Weapon Creation Assistant makes it even easier and especially faster. So to add a weapon in FPS Engine you'll need to have your own models, animations, SFX and VFX or you can just use the assets that FPS Engine provides, so it's really up to you and as you prefer. For the sake of this tutorial, I went to Sketchfab and I found this awesome SMG model which is completely animated, made by the Parasite, so thank you for providing that. And what's good about these models is that it's got a lot of different animations, even though we do not need all of them because this is a pretty detailed model, we'll be using a bunch of them and we'll import them into FPS Engine. So, as I said, I downloaded this and then I imported it into my Unity project. So here I have my FPX model with all the different animations. Something very important to notice is here in the animations, you need to ensure that those animations that are gonna be cyclic need to be loopable. So for example, idle, which is an animation that's gonna be repeated over time, needs to be loopable. Then, for instance, uh, run loop also needs to be loopable. Walk loop is also going to be loopable. So that way we can ensure that our weapon animations will definitely work properly. And so, yeah, let's add it into FPS Engine. So what I'm going to do is click in on the Cousins icon here. And then this button will open the Weapon Creation Assistant. The first thing we need to do is to enter a name for the new weapon. Now, I'm going to do SMG... Uh, tutorial something like that and then let's add a preset you can actually skip this step but I do really recommend you to actually select the preset since that's gonna help you make weapons pretty faster so let's let's click on that and I'm gonna be using the hit scan rifle for instance and then here under model we need to uh, drag and drop our FBX model or you can have OBJ format as well but I do really recommend to use FBX files, so let's drag and drop that. And then inside animations, we'll need to drop the required animations. And that's that's it. Now notice how I actually didn't assign the start loop and the end inspect animation clips, and it's because among all these different animations we got here, I do not have specific separated animation clips for start, loop, and end. Now, let's say that your game does not require an inspect system. You can just leave those unassigned and those will not be added in the animator controller, so that's completely fine. Once you have all of that, let's click on create, and here you can click yes, all right, and it's created a new folder called new weapons. And inside the new weapons, we have a folder with the name of the weapon that we just created. So SMG tutorial, we can open that. And this generated three different files. We got the weapon SO, which contains all the different statistics and settings for our weapon. Then we have the SMG animator controller, which contains all the different animations. And then we have the SMG tutorial weapon prefab, which is essentially the weapon that we'll see in game. Awesome. So let's start here. As you can see, we have a bunch of missing references and it's very important that when you work with weapons in FPS Engine, you need to have no missing references at all for it to work properly. In this case, we have a missing reference in the audio tab and it's for the firing SFX. So let's go to audio and shooting. Let's add a new shooting SFX. So I'm just gonna do or fire um, burst rifle SFX for instance which is some audio clip that I got on the FPS engine files okay just like that and then we'll go to the weapon prefab now that there's no missing references anywhere so let's go to the weapon prefab and here you can see there are a lot of different things and so among all these game objects, here we have our MP7A1, which is the weapon model that we assigned to this weapon. 
and there are a few things to consider. The first thing is that we have a camera that was provided inside the model. This is something we definitely want to avoid because the Cousins controller already has a camera for the controller, so having an extra camera here is not going to be helpful. So let's click on that and remove camera. All right, just like that. Cool. Now, uh, the next thing to take care of is that we do not want to have this, whatever this is, and we need to place the, the weapon exactly where it's going to be visible on our screen. As you can see, there's a red cube here, which is going to tell us the approximate weapon location. So we can basically move this around and place it somewhere. Yeah, something like that is going to, it's going to work. looks pretty fine. All right, there we go. Awesome. Now, the next thing to do is to set the fire point properly. As you can see, we got the fire point here which is this object here, and this is going to define the point where our weapon will be able to shoot from. And of course, we do not want to have the fire point here in the middle of nowhere, so I'll just put it on the tip of our barrel, something like that. There we go, that's going to be the fire point, and if we go to the root of the prefab, you can see that the fire point is assigned here. If you have, let's say, some sort of dual guns where you need to have different fire points because, you know, your gun suits from different points, then you can simply just duplicate this fire point and add it to the array here. And you can see here we got the fire point one and the fire point two. However, this SMG only shoots from one tip. So I'll just remove the second fire point and leave it with just one fire point. Awesome. Now the only and last thing to do is to set the aim point. The aim point basically defines the center of the screen when you are aiming your weapon. So generally you want it to have it on your iron sights or on the scope. This weapon here has a scope, so I'll add it here. Around there. Yeah, that seems pretty nicely. Awesome. So something I recommend you to do after all the previous steps are done is to go through all the different settings that the weapon so has so you can actually customize your weapon as much as you want and ensure it works exactly as you imagine it for instance i changed the fire rate so i can make it shoot faster and so that fits my smg style of weapon way better then i said the ammo cost per fire so whenever i shoot i you know it takes one bullet of, of the uh, magazine and uh, i changed some aim distance settings and uh, magazine size settings and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of different uh, settings and room for customization that you can explore to make your desired weapon. And that's pretty much it. I'll close this and then I'll go to my controller and under the player, let's go to weapon controller and let's add an initial weapon so we can actually spawn with our weapon. So let's select here the SMG tutorial and let's play. And just like that our weapon works perfectly.